The British cruiser Enterprise, swinging slowly into Haifa, brought to refuge in Palestine the saddest man in the world, the king without a kingdom, once Lion of Judah. First down the gangway of the cruiser came the boxes which contained the silver dollars which the emperor had managed to save from the wreck of his fortunes. Presently the empress came from the ship, followed by her daughter and her second son. Last came the emperor himself, Sadly aged for a man who is still young in years, a war-racked monarch who led his own armies unsuccessfully against the machines of modern Italy. Weary and broken, this unhappy exile was greeted by the mayor of Haifa, while an Italian troop ship lay in the background unknown to him. The emperor of Ethiopia, which Italy's delegate at Geneva declared to be a country no longer existing. Then, passing before a guard of honor, Haile Selassie took train for Jerusalem, the fallen king who claimed the world's help in his unsought war and received only sympathy. The special train bringing the emperor, his family and his suite was met by the adjutant of the high commissioner and other distinguished officials. Although a transport strike had paralyzed the city of Jerusalem, special permission was given for cars to take the emperor to the King David Hotel, where he is staying whilst in Palestine. 